Great coach, overall thoughts on tonight's win? Yeah, it was. Um, we're glad to get the, our first GLIAC win of the year um, against a much improved Lake State team. You know, we're uh, playing pretty good ball. Um, I don't think tonight was our best uh, our best performance, but I, like I've been saying all year and all year so far this year that uh, you know good teams win close games, and um, I think we're a good team, and we won a close one here tonight. Uh, Lake, credit Lake State for really playing some good ball. Um, they kept a lot of plays alive, made it really tough for us to score, and they they really blocked us really really well there. I think they out blocked us like 12 to five or something like that. It was uh, it was a good job by them, but you know I think uh, we came through at the end when we needed it most and had some big plays from some some players. Uh, it was nice to see. So in set three, we made your turning point in the match. Which teammates do you rely on to step into those leadership roles in those situations? Um, we have a handful. I think starting with Ellie and, and Haley and, and Steph and Lauren, our four seniors, you know, they're the most experienced. You know, we hear a lot about our freshmen, but, you know, we have four seniors that are very experienced and, and great leaders, and we rely on them quite a bit to make big plays. Also, you know, Macaulay Peterson, it's hard to believe that she's only a sophomore. Um, she had another pretty nice match for us tonight. I think she had 19 kills, led us in kills. Um, Mariah Sherman is another one here tonight, really Awesome to see her bloom. Um, she had a spectacular match. It really, they had a really hard time shutting her down. But yeah, the third set, you know, um, kind of came out flat-footed. They were blocking us quite a bit. And, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can respond um, to dropping a, a third set tight one like that at, to Lake State here at home. And I think we responded pretty well. You were neck and neck in the first two sets, too. It really looked like Haley Hart stepped up in the beginning in the back row for us. What do you think about that? Yeah, Haley's had a couple of good, really good matches in a row defensively for us. 17 digs in the right back position. Um, those aren't easy to come by. And, and not to mention, she pushes tempo for us very well, serves very well for us, and is one of the best passers really I've ever got the, the honor to coach. So Haley had another good match for us here tonight. And I think it was uh, probably the, the, she stood out for us, uh, I think, in the, in the back row with ball control. So tomorrow going into Saginaw Valley State, you know, what's your goal? Uh, goals to win, you know. Goals to win. Goals to play uh, better than we did tonight. I think, and, and to continue to improve. We talk about defending our home court, and you know, so far we've done a pretty good job of that. So we look to defend our home court against a team that you know um, knocked us out of the playoffs in five sets last year. So we're looking for, I suppose, a little bit of revenge on that one. But you know, I think just going back to our game, working on ball control. You know, I think we're one of the better ball control teams in the, in the conference, and uh, if we clean that up, I think it should be uh, should go our way. Thanks.